the name of God, the Lord of mercy, the giver of mercy. Alif, Lam, Mim, Ra. These are the signs of scripture. What your Lord has sent down to your prophet is the truth, yet most people do not believe. It is God who raised up the heavens with no visible supports and then established himself on the throne. He has subjected the sun and the moon each to pursue its course for an appointed time. He regulates all things and makes the revelations clear so that you may be certain of meeting your Lord. It is he who spread out the earth, placed firm mountains and rivers on it, and made two of every kind of fruit. He draws the veil of night over the day. There truly are signs in this for people who reflect. There are in the land neighboring plots, gardens of vineyards, cornfields, palm trees, in clusters or otherwise, all watered with the same water, yet we make some of them taste better than others. There truly are signs in this for people who reason. If anything can amaze you, O prophet, then you should surely be amazed at their asking, what, when we become dust, shall we be created anew? These are the ones who deny their Lord, who will wear iron collars around their necks and be the inhabitants of the fire there to remain. They ask you to bring on the punishment rather than any promised rewards, though there have been many examples before them. Your Lord is full of forgiveness for people despite their wrongdoing, but He is truly severe in punishment. The disbelievers say, why has no miracle been sent down to him from his Lord? But you are only there to give warning. Earlier communities each had their guide. God knows what every female bears and how much their wombs shrink or swell. Everything has its measure with him. He knows what is not seen as well as what is seen. He is the great, the most high. It makes no difference whether any of you speak secretly or aloud. Whether you are hiding under cover of night or walking about in the day, each person has guardian angels before him and behind watching over him by God's command. God does not change the condition of a people for the worse unless they change what is in themselves. But if he wills harm on a people, no one can ward it off apart from him. They have no protector. It is he who shows you the lightning inspiring fear and hope. He builds up the clouds heavy with rain. The thunder sounds his praises, as do the angels in awe of him. He sends thunderbolts to strike whoever he wills. Yet still, the dispute about God, he has mighty plans. The only true prayer is to him. Those they pray to besides him give them no answer anymore than water reaches the mouth of someone who simply stretches out his hands for it. It cannot do so. The prayers of the disbelievers are all in vain. All that are in heaven and earth submit to God alone, willingly or unwillingly, as do their shadows in the mornings and in the evenings. Say, O prophet, who is Lord of the heavens and the earth? Say, God. Say, why do you take protectors other than him, who can neither benefit nor harm even themselves? Say, are the blind equal to those who can see? And are the depths of darkness equal to the light? Have the partners they assign to God created anything like his creation, so that their creation is indistinguishable from his? Say, God is the creator of all things. He is the one, the all-compelling. He sends water from the sky that fills riverbeds to overflowing, each according to its measure. The stream carries on its surface a growing layer of froth, like the froth that appears when people melt metals in the fire to make ornaments and tools. In this way, God illustrates truth and falsehood. The froth disappears, but what is of benefit to man stays behind. This is how God makes illustrations. They will be the best of rewards for those who respond to their Lord. Those who do not respond would willingly give away the earth's contents twice over. If they had it, in order to ransom themselves, so terrible will be their reckoning. Hell will be their home, 
and their bed wretched. Can someone who knows that the revelation from your Lord is the truth be equal to someone who's blind? Only those with understanding will take it to heart. Those who fulfill the agreements they make in God's name and do not break their pledges, who join together what God commands to be joined, who are in awe of their Lord and fear the harshness of the reckoning, who remain steadfast through their desire for the face of their Lord, who keep up the prayer, who give secretly and openly from what we have provided for them, who repel evil with good. These will have the reward of the true home. They will enter perpetual gardens along with their righteous ancestors, spouses, and descendants. The angels will go into them from every gate. Peace be with you because you have remained steadfast. What an excellent reward is this home of yours. But there will be rejection for those who break their confirmed agreements made in God's name who break apart what God has commanded to be joined and who spread corruption on earth. Theirs is the dreadful home. God gives abundantly to whoever he wills and sparingly to whoever he wills. And though they may revel in the life of this world, it is but a fleeting comfort compared with the life to come. The disbelievers say, Why has no miracle been sent down to him from his Lord? Prophet, say, God leaves whoever he wills to stray and guides to himself those who turn towards him, those who have faith and whose hearts find peace in the remembrance of God. Truly, it is in the remembrance of God that hearts find peace. Those who believe and do righteous deeds, joy awaits these and their final homecoming will be excellent. So, we have sent you, O prophet, to a community other communities passed away long before them to recite to them what we reveal to you. Yet they disbelieve in the Lord of mercy. Say, He is my Lord. There is no God but Him. I put my trust in Him and to Him is my return. If there were ever to be a Quran with which mountains could be moved, the earth shattered or the dead made to speak, it would have been this one but everything is truly in God's hands. Do the believers not realize that if God had so willed, he could have guided all mankind? As for the disbelievers, because of their misdeeds, disaster will not cease to afflict them or fall close to their homes until God's promise is fulfilled. God never fails to keep his promise. Many messengers before you, O Muhammad, were mocked, but I granted respite to the disbelievers. In the end, I took them to task how terrible my punishment was. Is he who stands over every soul, marking its action in need of any partner? Yet they ascribe partners to God, say, name them. Or can you tell him about something on the earth he does not know to exist? Or is this just a display of words? But the things they devised are made alluring to the disbelievers, and they are bared from the right path. No one can guide those God leaves to astray. There's a punishment for them in this world, but the punishment of the hereafter will be harder. No one will defend them against God. Here's a picture of the garden that those mindful of God have been promised. Flowing streams and perpetual food and shade. This is the reward that awaits those who are mindful of God. The disbelievers reward is the fire. Those to whom we sent the scripture rejoice in what has been revealed to you, O prophet. Some factions deny parts of it, say, I am commanded to worship God and not join anything with him in worship. To him I call others and to him I shall return. So we have sent down the Quran to give judgment in the Arabic language. If you were to follow their desires after the knowledge that has come to you, you would have no one to guard you or protect you from God. We sent messengers before you and gave them wives and offspring. No messenger was given the power to produce a miracle except with God's permission. There was a scripture for every age. God erases or confirms whatever he wills, and the source of scripture is with him. Whether we let you, O prophet, see part of what we threaten them with or cause you to die before that, your duty is only to deliver the message. The reckoning is ours. 
Do they not see how we come to their land and shrink its borders? God decides. No one can reverse his decision, and he is swift in reckoning. Those before them also schemed, but the overall scheme belongs to God. He knows what each soul does. In the end, the disbelievers will find out who will have, have not been, been sent. Say, God is sufficient witness between me and you. All knowledge of the scripture comes from him. Mm -hmm.